guys and welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to my channel on the new year this is like my first video that i'm putting up on my channel in 2016 so i hope you guys all had a great new year's and i hope it was filled with lots of love and maybe even kiss someone i didn't so today i have the best of 2015 products to show you guys makeup wise so these products are the best of the best i have a good variety of drugstore and high-end and I also have a brand that I want to talk about that I completely discovered in 2015 and absolutely fell in love with and is like the top brand of 2015 I'd say and I feel like it's going to be absolutely huge in 2016. I divided up every single category primer, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, you know, you know the whole bit. So I have every single one of those products to tell you guys about. So please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. If you guys are on a desktop, you guys can click right here to subscribe to my channel. And if you're on a mobile device, you can click right down there or over here, wherever it is. I have a feeling it's over here because everything's flipped on a computer. So when I'm filming this, it's like, I think it's right here. Um, but make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss a video. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I'm first gonna start off with the face and the first thing is primer. Now I didn't use primer for the whole year. And over the summer I used primers here and there but I never really found one that I loved until about the end of this year. I think it was in October I found this primer. Thanks to Nikki Tutorials, it is the Nivea Men Original Plumishing Post Shave Balm. I feel like she got literally every woman on the planet hooked on this. Don't you wish you had that influence? Like, that's amazing. So you go, Nikki. You're so bomb. This stuff, though, is really awesome since it has glycerin in it. Um, whatever you put on top of this primer will stick because glycerin is a sticky base and a sticky consistency. So it really does an amazing job at locking on the makeup and just great. I love it. For foundation, I was using a bunch of foundations and at some points I wasn't even using a foundation and it really came between the MAC Face and Body and then the CarPro Ready Set Gorgeous Foundations. I used Face and Body the other day and it completely came off my face and I don't know why. I used the primer, I used powder, I used everything that I normally do and it was just gone at the end of the day. But that also made me realize the real winner which is the CarPro Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I'm going to have every product link down below if you guys want to grab them for yourselves and see how amazing they are because these are the best of the best in my opinion um, and this is the best foundation I have ever used in my entire makeup life it is so good I'd say it's like medium to full coverage but it looks like your skin and it just looks so natural and so beautiful on random people will always compliment my skin whenever I'm wearing this and they'll say like your foundation looks so good like who says that your foundation looks good no one that's how you know it's a bomb ass foundation concealer was a toughie this one I have repurchased I think four times this year this is the Maybelline fit me Oh my gosh, you guys. It is the most full coverage drugstore concealer I have ever used. It is so buildable. You can make it super full coverage. You can make it super lightweight and it seriously stays on all day. Sent from an angel, thank you. This also has a great color range. What I recently found out is that number 15 is a lot more pink and number 10 is a lot more yellow, but they are like the same shade of light. Just one is a pink undertone and one's a yellow undertone. For powder, I absolutely would never use powder on my whole face until this year, but I would never use a tinted powder because I hate getting tinted powders or even I hate getting like more foundations because I always know that I like to be tan, sometimes I like to be pale, and I always like to like, my skin color is like changing a lot. So I never like to invest in like a bomb foundation or a bomb powder just to know that like I might not match it. So I always go for a translucent and my favorite is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Translucent means clear, it matches everyone. I have loved this for underneath my eyes, for setting my whole face. I just think it works a lot better and no matter what color my skin is, whether I'm tan or pale, it'll match me. And this one is really cheap, I think it's four bucks and it gets the job done and stays on all day and it makes your makeup look really good. When it comes to my cheeks, recently I've been doing a new combo, but it's not like my favorite, I switched it up a lot, but I did this combo for so long, except for the highlighter. I switched out the highlighter because I found a new favorite one, but I did this cheek combo in like every single tutorial and I felt bad, but like I loved it. So I'd always use some sort of bronzer and the one that I picked up was the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one is their dark chocolate kind. I like this one because it smells good 
and it also isn't muddy. It looks really nice. It gives you a great shadow effect and whether I'm pale, whether I'm tan, it works on my skin tone. So I always use this to contour, kind of warm up the face a little bit. For blush, I always would use Worldly Wealth by MAC. It took a beating, as you can see, it's like all messed up now. But that's because I loved it so much and I didn't even hit pen on it. I don't know how because I would use this every single day. But seriously, these two together gave me the most bronze, cheeky look. I loved it. It was so like sun-kissed and so beautiful looking. It really slimmed down my face, but it also highlighted at the same time. Like it was just an amazing combination and it was seriously what I wore every single day. It was ridiculous. I did not do anything else in that combination. And then the highlighter that I would always use was Soft and Gentle by MAC. But over the summer in like July, I found a way better highlighter and I love it. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number one. This one is the one with the pink highlighter and I only use this duo for the highlights what I'm wearing today. It is just so amazing and it just reflects beautifully and it just really makes your cheeks look sculpted and like you just got a cheek facelift or something. I don't know what those are called, like a cheekbone lift? I don't know. The brows have definitely had a huge improvement in 2015. I feel like 2014 I really learned that brows meant everything and then in 2015 I applied that theory to my everyday life. The whole year I was using the Anastasia Dip Brow. It is amazing. Even though now I don't use it, it's still like the highlighted brow product of 2015. It was and still is the best brow product ever. This is in the shade Ebony and I have an eyebrow tutorial which I'll have linked down below if you guys want to check out how I use it. But I just love the look of my brows with this pomade. They just look so sculpted and so like technical. I don't know. They just looked so bomb. So I really did enjoy this product for the whole year and I still think it is the absolute best brow product out there. For my eyeshadows, I feel like I really switched it up pretty much every single day. But the one palette that I would keep going back to was the Naked palette. This was like the best palette that Urban Decay has ever released. They could have stopped here and they could have just kept selling this palette forever. But they went kind of crazy and came out with like, what, 20,000 Naked products? Which is bomb, like I love them all. but. They could have just stopped right here and they would have made a gold mine. So I love this palette still. As you guys can tell, Sidecar is my favorite color. I love this color. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And it's just a really great palette for neutrals. I never really touch these colors down here. I really just stay on this end and sometimes I use um, Half Baked. But I really just love this combination right here of these three. I was using that like every single day in the summer. It was like my go-to. When it comes to eyeliners, I haven't been wearing much eyeliner since I got my eyelash extensions on, but I love doing winged eyeliner. That was like my look for 2015. Um, someone told me the other day, they were like, yeah, like you really had intense wings. I'm like, I know, so it was like intense. My favorite was the Stila Stay All Day. What was I ever doing with the Stila Stay All Day? This is the NYX matte liquid eyeliner. This kind where it's like the little brush I think is the easiest to do wings. So if you guys want like an updated winged eyeliner tutorial let me know and I can do that. But I think these brushes are way easier to create wings with than felt tips are because those kind of like they, they're hard to do it with but when it's something that a brush and it just flicks it out for you it makes it so much easier. This also stays all day. It's super black. I love how it dries. And it just looks really amazing on the lid and when I curl my eyelashes, it doesn't come off which is a big thing for me because whenever I curl my eyelashes, all my eyeliner would always come off. For mascara, I feel like you guys definitely know what's coming. Too Faced Better Than Sex wins mascara of the year. This mascara, I like miss putting mascara on my upper lashes for the purpose of this mascara. I just miss it. Like I just miss it. It is such a good mascara. It lengthens your lashes, it separates your lashes, it adds volume to your lashes. Like three coats of this and your eyelashes look fake. It's just the best mascara ever. I was always one to be like, no, you don't really need to splurge on mascaras, but like this one, it is so worth it. Like do it, you'll thank me later. It's so worth it. I just, I can't recommend this enough. Like I love it. With lip balms and stuff, I was always into the Jack Black. But then I kind of like drifted away from it and I was just kind of using whatever I could find. But then Glossier came into my life. 
I don't know how I ever lived without this product. The Glossier Bomb.com Universal Skin Salve. Like, let's just take a minute. It moisturizes my lips like no other. You can put this anywhere. Like, literally, if you need anything to be, like, rejuvenated, any sort of beauty secret, I'm sure it's because of this. Like, this is the absolute best. Makes your lips seriously so smooth. It makes your foundation not crease right here. If you put it right here on your smile lines, it doesn't crease. Put on your elbows if you have dry elbows. They're like a baby's butt the next day. Dry cuticles, put it, put it on your cuticles. Like it, it, it. Ask anyone that has ever used this and they will say it's the best thing they have ever used in their life for everything. It is the beauty secret of all beauty secrets. If you have to get one thing from this video, it's this. It is 100% this. It has been the year of gloss, honey. Gloss, gloss, gloss. I have two that are my favorites and I just can't get over them. Glossy lips just may make me feel like a woman. Even though I'm wearing matte today and I'm really digging this lip color, I'm just so into the gloss. First one is like gone. It's down to there. I need a new one. This is Buxom Kimberly, and this is their lip polish. I love these because they're plumping to your lips, and they have like a cool tingling sensation when you put them on, which is my favorite feeling ever. And it's sparkly, and it makes your lips look big. It makes them, you just, you feel so sexy and so good when you have lip gloss on. It's amazing. So this one has definitely been my go-to. Then my other favorite one is the Makeup Forever Artist Plexi Gloss in number 200. Just a nice nudie pink color, it stays on your lips all day. Makes them look wet, super glossy, nice and big, nice and plump. It doesn't have a plumping effect, but you just feel like a woman. I just love lip gloss. <laughs> all right, now it's time for the brand of 2015. Velvet 59, everybody. This is just one of their products, but Velvet 59 has been the brand of 2015, and I know they're going to be huge in 2016. Like, it is going to be Velvet 59's year. They're gonna be everywhere. So this is just the Exotic Lotus Palette. I did a look with this, I'll link it down below. Their liquid lipsticks blow me away. Just all of their products are just so good. I'm actually wearing one of their liquid lipsticks today. Let me go get it. I'm wearing this one today with a little bit of a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick over top of it, but this is like the base. Vegan, cruelty, gluten, and paraben free. So it's just an amazing line. And I know the owner, Paris Manning, she is the absolute sweetest girl ever. I love her to death and just their products are just unreal and so amazing so if you guys like have to splurge on products Velvet 59 is the best brand ever to splurge on those are my products for 2015 i hope you guys all enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what your number one product is from 2015 and also if you guys use any of these products that i talked about so thanks so much and i'll talk to you guys all in my next video bye